Rusty did toughen its dangerous dog's ordinance not too long ago. Now a dog can be put down after just one attack, where it used to require more than that. But the grandmother we talked to today says it doesn't go far enough. She wants certain breeds banned from neighborhoods. And he just latched on, and, and he wouldn't let go. I was screaming to high heaven. Mary Ellen Miles has puncture wounds and bruises on her arms, legs, even her head. After she says the dog pictured here attacked her while she was walking with her grandchildren and their dogs last Monday in the alley near their Duncanville home. It's painful to move it. She says the dog was a pit bull. The owner, a neighbor, opened the garage door to pull in and the dog ran out. It was scary because... No, it was big, and our dog was small. Miles says it attacked their Jack Russell Terrier. <laughs> after she kicked it, she says the dog let go, then went after their other dog, a rat terrier. This one right here was the deepest that went all the way into her abdominal cavity. And she is so scared. Look at her shaking. Again, Miles says she had to force the dog to let go. That's when she says the dog focused its attention on her. As she made sure the children went back home, she says it latched on, first to her arm, then her head. He would not m m budge. If you could have experienced the hold, there was, no, there was no hope for me. I just knew he would not let go. He did after another neighbor heard her screams and came to help. Miles spent a few days in the hospital. The family's other two dogs are also recovering. The pit bull was taken by animal control. If he's not dead, he needs to be dead. If the dogs had gotten one of the children, he would have killed. I just know the dog would have killed one of the children. Miles says she wants a city to ban certain breeds, like pit bulls. Other cities have tried unsuccessfully. We did try to contact the owner of the dog, but we were not able to. Reporting live in Duncanville, I'm Lynn Kawano, Fox 4 News.